is back. Stevie Funfer in the background. Delphine in the foreground. And turtle nests. Right in the road, eh? Yeah. Yeah, they're not play playing around. We just saw Big Mama. She was actually laying up here. Yep. To the right there. Yeah, and we're on a mushroom and other foraging kind of a mission. So we're driving some back roads and... Uh, yeah, we've got some secret GPS coordinates. We're yeah. probably late for the morels we're looking for, but a uh, really cool spot. Look at this, man. She was she was tearing into that road. Yeah. yeah. She was just over or there. maybe a few different turtles trying out different spots. Could be, yeah. I think they're all gonna get crushed by stuff though. Here. Testing the substrate. So where'd she go? Is she gonna get slip in the water or is she just right here? Uh, yeah. That was a big old girl, man. There's an old uh, shell right there. Yeah, she booked it, man. So sometimes the uh, foxes and the raccoons are basically coming eating yeah. eggs just as quick as they're being laid. Yeah. Cool, well, that's neat to see. Yeah, man. Look at that. That's amazing. We'll uh, carry on and uh, see what else we find on this adventure. And here we are. So you can see this area was burnt last year the trees aren't burnt to a crisp but there's most of them are killed but it's kind of a key spot for finding black morels so we're gonna head in here about and wander around and see what we find this is cool here I don't know if I've seen this before but the uh, liverworts have all got their reproductive structures up so these leaf-like guys here these are the liverworts and here's the reproductive structures and there are thousands of them they're everywhere very cool to see This big fat slug. And we're just making our way over to this burnt up ridge. Here's a burnt up white pine and pine cones and some yellow morels. Not what we were thinking we would see. See, there's a couple over there. They look a lot like the pine cones that are fallen. How cool is that? Some Northern Ontario morels. Picking time. Oh yeah, some. And this is the second white pine that I've walked up on. And let's have a little look here. Look at this. There's one. Here's one with a slug. Goodbye slug. And one over there. Yep, and four over there. There's a bunch. Three, four more over there. Oops, sorry, my camera works not that steady. I'm too excited. We're picking. So here, another burnt white pine. And Delphine's into her first patch of morels now. Nice. I'm gonna climb up onto this ridge here. Delphine found some right at the top where she's climbing. It's a good sign. You can hear the pine beetle larva. Is that what that is? Yep. You can see some of the frass where they've chewed holes in or out of the tree. Spider. Look what Delphine missed. A little one hiding underneath. Black morel, I think that one. Nice. Yeah, there's some weird, uh, I don't know what that is either. Different kind of mushroom. 
Cool. Yeah. I'm gonna bring one. There's a an old morale that we're not gonna pick. We'll keep on hunting. Now I'm just sort of cruising the margin of the cut so you can see everything's green or the cut, the burn. Green and unburnt down there. Um, and this is pretty typical too, like you get this columbine, those are those pinky flowers coming up in a recent burn. This one was burnt last year. And here, these morels are in, these are firmer. One, two, three, four. And there's this nice little gray one over here. Um, so they seem to be a little bit firmer on these edges. These ones aren't in great shape, but I think these guys right here might be the best little patch of fresh ones that I've found so far. Two, four, six, eight, nine of them, ten of them. Beauties. These woodpeckers are really unimpressed with my being here. Making a big racket. They must have a nest nearby. It's hard for me to see them through my bug net, but I think they're uh, either the three-toed or the black-backed. I'll have to look at my footage a little more closely after when I'm editing. Yeah, the bugs are pretty bad. Yeah. But this is our haul so far. So the three of us picking. There's We've seen hundreds that are beyond picking. Oh yeah, there's yeah. I've just what's in that, that bag there, I've seen... 10 times that. Yeah, yeah. Like just drooped over and yeah. rotting. And so we're really rotting. late in the season. But then, you know, then there are some real gems. These little gray guys that are perfect. Mm -hmm. They're nice and firm. Yeah, those are little sweeties. Yeah. Good haul. So far, we got more time still. Here's another sweet spot. Yellow morels. One, two, three. Yeah, I found some here too. Four. Found some over here too. Yeah. Five. Big one. Oh, maybe I didn't hit that one, yeah. I passed up a few back there too. Look at that little patch over there. One by my foot. Some just past the roots over here. Another hot spot. But this is the best patch that I've seen so far. A little clump of them. New location. We switched gears. Uh, we took the morels home. Put a bunch of them in the dehydrator, had a little nap, had some little snack, and now we're fishing. So uh, I'm here with Steve, and Delphine's on her way. She should be here shortly. You got a bite? Yep. Yeah. This is good timing. And we've got a catfish in the bucket. The blood on my hand. Yeah. Oh. Did you set it? Yeah, you got Yeah. Um, so I, the net. I wasn't prepared for this. I was just going to yak a bit. So uh, we're at a spot. We were casting for pike. Oh, you want a net? He's and, coming in. Yep. It's not a big one. And then we uh, got into some catfish. Yeah, man. Little channel cats. Beauties. Yeah. Nice eaters, man. Yeah. That guy's going in my smoker. He's going to fit perfect. Yeah. Yeah, you like to smoke these guys, eh? <laughs> yeah, they're really good. Yeah. All right. Okay, I got that. I'll let you do your thing there. Okay. So, uh, maybe what I usually do... Oh, you want to film this? Well, it's... Why don't I film you? Why don't you do it your way and I'll film you? Sure. For your viewers. Sure. Let's put it down here. So I'll pass the camera over. Yeah, I'll just, just give you that. And I will film you doing your... My gear. So I've never been spined, but I certainly don't want to get spined. You do not. So what I do, and uh, is kind of grab them with the pliers. And then we're going to try and lay them out here. So I can uh, get in here and 
cut the gills, so I usually would bleed them out. Um, Steve's preferred method is to... There was a soft spot there. Did you find the soft spot? That's the whole deal, yeah. Yeah, so to, right between the eyes, you want to pierce the brain, and that should incapacitate them pretty quickly. Yep. And once my knife is in, then what I do is clip these uh, fins and then they can't... The barbels, yeah. Yeah, they can't envenomate you. Oh, oh he's getting a little bit gooey here. So, we gotta hit his brain there. We think we missed again. Man, that little brain is hard to find. It's not very big. No. I mean, they eat worms, what do you expect? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm having a hard time catching this one. Caught on something. Your pliers caught, yeah. Yeah. There you go. I think it's free now. Or it was. I think it's a little further forward, the brain there. Give that another go if you can't. Oh, I see. You're actually not on the uh, the cut, the the cutter. It's just the pliers got it. Yeah. Are you trying to bend it or are you trying to cut it? I was uh, trying to cut it. Yeah, a little more forward. Just push that thing in. And there you go. Perfect. Yeah. And then a uh, little forward. Try a little. Yeah, even more if you can. Oh yeah, there's a good soft spot there. There you go. I think that's twist that a little. Maybe the idea is to just to, like destroy the brain and the connection to the nervous system. Yeah. And it's the most humane way of doing it. Yeah. I think um, he's mostly done. He's still kind of moving a little, but these things are so tough, man. It's crazy. Yeah. I mean, I know some guys just literally take the head right off immediately. Oh yeah. Yeah, that'll bleed them out really quick and also it's pretty humane, you know? Yeah. But whatever you think. I find no matter what you do that the nerves keep going, but... Yeah. Anyway, there's our second one. Come on. Cool. And then hopefully we catch another bunch. We're into them. Yeah. Beautiful. All right. Uh, there we go. Oh, the bass. <laughs> so a little, just little the jumper. Head. Yeah. Play small mode. <laughs> oh, this is looking over again. Oh, I've been the wrong way. There we go. Oh, yeah. Hey, I'll take that's a keeper, man. Yeah. That's a nice eater. Yeah. That should be all right. Yeah. There you go. Right on. These guys are easy to deal with. I'll get you a bonker. Are you you're gonna brain them? Yeah, might as well. This is a stiffer knife, so it's easier to twist. Yeah, maybe that's the one to use for the cats, man. Yeah, that's what I should do. And I can see the hook, so I'll get my pliers and. Uh... You swallowed it, eh? Well, it's yeah, it's just in about this far. Oh yeah, easy. That's an easy grab. Yeah. Oh, that did not work. Got fish slime <laughs> on my face. Okay, we got. So I'll show you what we're doing. I have uh, one of these sliding sinkers and a split shot to stop it. And then just a plain hook down from that, thread a worm on there, cast it out, and then just hang out. Hang out and wait for the bites. So now we've got two catfish, one bass. Dolphinies here now too, so we have three lines in the water. Who's going to catch the next fish? I hope so. So there's the uh, two little channel cats and I scaled that bass. We we'll probably have another hour of fishing, so we'll see how it goes. What do you got on there, Steve? That's a nice big catfish, I think. I've been waiting for this guy and I've been trying to hook him three different times. And uh, I think he's finally going to cooperate here. Where are you, Alfie? Okay. <laughs> Sick. 
son of a motherless goat. I was waiting for this one. Okay, I got him out of the current. That's the main thing. He should be coming in soon. I'm not sure where he is. If I can get my light on. Actually, I'm going to use your camera light. That's fine. Decent hook, though. So Steve's got a big sucker minnow on. He's been fishing it. with worms. I can do Jeremy's lights really good. Switched it up. He's got to turn him. He's turning here. Oh, there he goes. He almost took a run on me there. This is exciting. The first one that's been a big fight, eh? Okay, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. <laughs> That's a fucking giant walleye, bro. That's huge. Oh. I thought this was a catfish the whole time. He's pulling like a muskie. Oh no, it no, isn't. It isn't. Ah, <laughs> I thought it was a walleye. Start. Okay, I'm coming back. Okay. Here he comes. Not a yeah! Oh. That's the one we we're looking for. Yeah. <laughs> right? Look at that pig. Look at that. Right? Woo! Yeah, man. What did I say? Anything yeah. that's hitting that has got to be at least eight pounds. Yeah. And there you go. Look at the belly on that. Look at the gunt on this thing. Can you see that? It's great. <laughs> that's what I wanted to find. Woo! That's okay. smoker time. That's dinner right there. I guess we're going to all switch to the big minnows, right? Eh? Yeah. And I think even the hot size no hook would be all right. Look at this pig! Okay, hold on. Let me get a highlight on to it. There he is. Right? Wow. Nice one. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. you spit it! Nice! He did our job oh, for us. Oh, beauty. I like you, buddy. I like you a lot. You're an excellent dude. <laughs> all right. So, uh, well, you know what would be great? Is uh okay? Let's not get him too dirty. I want to take a picture of this guy. Okay, you got him. Yeah, I got him. I'm gonna just try. And, um, I'm gonna cut those barbels off first. Yeah. Cause that's a def. This this guy could hurt you. Yeah. I don't know if these pliers are big enough for this guy. There we go. Okay, there's one. Nope, let's put it down. He's trying to, trying to deke. Yeah. I'm going to hold him with the net. This isn't going to be able to do it too much. Like I'm trying to get it on a flat thing. Oh, those pliers are really not big enough for this. There's two. And... I don't want to break the net. Yeah, yeah, I think your pliers are bigger. There it is. I got it. Oh, okay. I got it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that was lucky. I almost got that one in the hand. Now, if I can get your stout knife, I'm going to try and give this guy a run for his money here. If I could find it. I don't know how much of a soft spot I'm going to get on a big guy like this. Wow. It's pretty I soft. Have a knife too. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Blood. There's another one on that side. Nice. Yeah, there is. <laughs> I think he's mostly done. That was pretty good. All right. That looks brutal, but it's the most humane way of doing it. Yeah. He's done. He's mostly done. This is mostly nerves that you're going to see here. And uh, that's a good hook, man. That's a good feed. Yeah. I'm very excited about that. That's the biggest, one of the bigger catfish I've ever caught other than in, in Asia, yeah. where they get to be 100 pounds, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Nice. Woo! Wow. 
Thank you, sir. You're welcome. It's recording. Oh. Yeah. And then this is another bullhead. Two bullheads. Two bullheads. I think they were doing it, dude. The, he, okay, Jared just caught two fish on one hook. That is, an, that is a thing I've never seen before. A lot of first tonight. Yeah. It was very impressive work he did there, uh, Mr. St. Ange. <laughs> it's getting exciting here. This little girl can go back, but this guy, is, that's a keeper, man. Yeah. They, I think they were doing it, man. I think they were what? doing the fish nasty. <laughs> And one of them just, and this, she was like, okay, you do whatever you want, but I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> there, we got sound with this fish too. It's an El Pigo. Yeah, so that's <laughs> my first big one. Nice. Of the night. Beautiful. Okay, you want to barb them? Yeah. I think we ought to. I don't want to put it on my seat though while I was sitting. Oh, oh yeah. Right there. Wow, well, I have one pair of jeans with me. With me outside, yeah. One. You know. Dos. Yeah, that's the last one there. Oh, careful. <laughs> uh, that one's already done. It's the other yeah. side. I gotta roll them. There he is. Oh, he was just going. There he is. Whoop. Okay. <coughs> Watch him. Yeah. There he is. Tris. Sorry, I didn't know that. There you go. It's okay, I was swearing too much. Delphine slaying cats. Nice. Uh, Catwoman. <laughs> yeah, you did. You fed enough of them that. Yeah, that's right. It was time to catch. They owed you one. Let's see your fish. Oh, that's a sweetie. That's a big one, man. It's four or five pounder right there. Yeah. Beautiful. Watch the coffee by your toe, babe. Oh. All right. Careful. You need a hand? Are you all right? Look. Hey, look at that, right? Good first shot. Nice job, man. Yeah, I got shot. it. Yeah, let it go. You got that, Delphi? It's hard to zoom slowly on this thing, I find. Yeah. He does, he's got one small fin. Yeah. Yeah, weird. Okay, well, nice. We filmed this a bunch of times, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Just, uh, we got everybody catching. All right, we are wrapping up and we are going home with two buckets of fish. That is a big haul of cats. Tanks in there. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Look at this. Yeah, it's still me? kind of. That one's still puffing. kicking and puffing. Yeah. These are nice fish, man. That's even. Like, this isn't even the biggest one. Look at that one. Yeah. In there, that's crazy. Big one over there. Not so. Cool. So now we're gonna go home and clean them all. We need to do an update. So uh, it's the next day. It's actually supper time the next day, which doesn't quite feel like it because Steve and I were up until 4:30 in the morning. Yeah. Doing uh, all those this. catfish, yeah. So let's have a little peek in 45 here. Forty-five pounds of catfish. Yeah. So we we measured. We started with forty-five pounds of catfish, and we you know there's a lot here because we only threw out the guts. There's organ meats. There's fillets. What's down here? More fillets. More fillets. Yeah. More fillets, and then a bunch of bodies. We're gonna do a big soup stock. Yeah. And for supper, we've got sure. 
We got. I guess it's got to come out soon anyway, eh? Yeah, we gotta get it to room temp anyway. We're almost there. We've got caribou steaks. Caribou steaks. Yeah. Straight from none of it. My sister sent me these from uh, Iqaluit. Yeah. And does that ever look nice, look right? Look at that. Boom. There's even like a Ooh, little caribou little hair garnish on, on top. <laughs> the white garnish. Yeah. So we've got that, and then Delphine's working her magic in the oven with a acorn rice raspberry cake. Mmm. And then we got some, uh, I brought some uh, herisiums for Delphine. She likes those. Those are comb tooth mushrooms and some, empty some of this. Uh, I believe, I will tell you right, and they are uh, painted suillas bullet mushrooms. Yeah. And some fiddleheads that I picked in the spring. We're gonna saute and some bear fat. Yeah. Got a little pot of wild rice on the boil over here as well. And, and don't forget Johnny Jump Ups. Johnny Jump Ups. Right, and some uh, and our daisy buds. Yeah. Yeah, so really f a feast fit for, um, you know, Forager. kings and queens. Yeah, foraging <laughs> kings and queens. Yeah, foraging kings and queens, exactly. Yeah, soon it'll be kings and queens bullies time. Right? Yeah. Uh, we were, would you say we were overly enthusiastic and uh, not discriminatory enough in the morels that we picked? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think we were a little overly enthusiastic, yes. Yeah, so we picked about what 15 pounds of morels but then at least we, yeah yeah we weeded out a lot and even some of the dehydrator just started to go rotten and started to stink yeah we yeah. ended up uh i would say probably with less than 10 finished yeah. but for this it's like let's make a note here it's, it's the almost, end of june yeah. yeah it's almost july yeah so we got really lucky there was anything and the big win is that's the first time that i've ever picked that kind of a habitat and Me to too. know that it produces that much yeah it's crazy that is on the list too. yeah the burn yeah. morels, man. That's I think that's half the game right there. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of it. Yeah. Amazing burn site. Yeah. I mean, just kidding. You can't find morels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, have to, you have to look for swampy black spruce. That's where they are. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 We'll just we cut them. that part out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, burns with white pines kind of paid off for us. Um, big time. Big time. Yeah. And now morels are probably officially out of my system for this year. For this year. Yeah. Considering that they weren't even in your system. Yeah. Yeah. I, on our last live stream, no, the one before. Why would I waste any time going and looking for morels? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, I'm definitely gonna look. Yeah. But you got the bug bad. But yeah, then now we have two good spots. Yeah, the two really good spots. Spot. Yeah, so so that, that changes was, the whole game, really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you know where you're going. Yeah. We had our first um, wild strawberries today, and my roses all opened up. Yeah. So I'll be picking rose them. petals. Like they're obviously not for calories, but for tea and for Tasty. throwing into ro roasts and things. Yeah. 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 So we're you know we, the thing about this is that we're constantly switching gears. There's always something new in season, and you gotta keep up and follow along. Yeah. yeah. Hold on a second, I should be filming you because you're the one talking. Oh, yeah. So well, you want to just. So you guys are nodding nicely and agreeing. And, <laughs> yeah. uh, I'll just stand in front of my mushroom wall of fame here. Yeah, that looks oh, nice. yeah. This is going to get <clears throat> probably do like four times that this year because yes. we'll be adding a lot. And I had a whole shelf in my cupboard that was all mushrooms too, like jars, palm yeah. jars, dried. I still have, I'll show you guys, we won't do it on camera, but I have lots of mushrooms on another shelf as well. I like these ones because you can kind of show them off in the kitchen. Yeah, and you can also just grab them easy. It's right there. Yeah. Yeah, so what are we doing tonight? It looks like we're going back out catfishing is what I heard. Yeah. <laughs> so the limit is 12 a piece. Uh, I don't know how many we had the, of channel cats. Yeah, There's no limit in this zone on bullheads. And our bass limit is six a piece, I think. We only brought back one. Yeah. Um, not that not that you should always chase your limit but like what's important for us is being able to store food when it's available and so for us to each have 12 catfish in the freezer yeah. right now it's big yeah. deal. and steve's gonna take some home he's gonna smoke some which i think is gonna be spectacular and delphine and i were thinking of either blowing some cash on a smoker or maybe making one so that'll be something that you'll see in an upcoming video as well you can make like a block smoker you know just yeah from, i saw that too from cinder blocks blocks and, yeah. it looks pretty good yeah. yeah so they say yeah so uh there's lots of lots of stuff did i remember to turn the microphone on is it green up it's there green, yeah. oh thank goodness 
that's been an issue for me lately, forgetting to turn on the mic and talk for a little while. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So that's where we're at. We'll show maybe some clips of this cooking up. We'll show some final plated dinners. We're gonna eat outside, it's nice and sunny. The bugs aren't bad right now. Gorgeous. And then yeah. uh, I'll bring the camera out again to the catfish spot. And we'll maybe get some more shots of hauling in giant catfish or whatever. <laughs> yeah, so awesome. yeah. Yeah. Um, this morning, I'm a three. Yeah. A couple of Instagrammers at work here. <laughs> yeah, really, eh? Like, this is, this is fun. It's hot. Let's eat, you know? Yeah, yeah. Got to get a couple pictures before we dig in, though. Get in there, Jer. Get in so, there. Yeah. Do, the, do the sweep. Get right in close. Come on, Johnny. Jump up. Look at it all. Are you kidding me? How nice those yeah, look? Yeah, it looks super. It's beautiful. Mmm. So we made it out. It's pretty dark. I think it's prime time. And I'll show you what we got already. So, uh... Steve was trying out a topwater bait and he caught a nice little eater walleye right off the hop and I caught a little catfish, a channel cat, right off the hop and now yeah there's fish jumping out there sorry you're just getting all the glare here um, there I am so we're just gonna sit here in the dark for a bit we got the thermocell rocking keeping the mosquitoes away which makes a huge difference can't believe how well those things work and we'll see what else we catch. Let's see if I can catch some of that lightning storm over to the east of us. There's some pretty good lightning. We're still too far away to hear the thunder. Um, but we keep seeing flashes of it on the horizon. And then we also uh, are seeing a lot of fireflies, which is nice. But over top of us, oh, there was a flash. I was looking at the sky and not the screen, so I don't know if it showed. Um, but we uh, I've been seeing lots of fireflies and the stars are really beautiful. So we bought smaller minnows, live minnows tonight instead of the frozen uh, suckers. And so far we've been catching smaller catfish. So now we've got two channel cats, one bullhead, one walleye had a few bites missed a few bites and we'll see how it keeps panning out there we are in night shot mode so we're just using the fork stick to prop up the rods oh there you got a little flash of lightning over on the horizon there and uh, just hang out it's pretty quiet there's Steve, all of our gear, Delphi's here, Delphi caught a bullhead, a little bullhead catfish, and we're just waiting for more fish. Oh, Two I'm fish. caught in something, damn it. I think it's a dead body. Yeah? I'm caught in something here. I think we have, we're on a, we're pulling in a big log. Yeah, you're both pulling the same log. Mine keeps running. Oh, you guys might be wrapped, eh? Can you shine the light up on the two where the two lines meet? I'm not sure. My guy might have crossed her. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do this. Delphine, you just stay still. Stay still. Tip up. Don't lose them. There we go. I think we're. Uh. No. Oh, yeah. mine is too. He's 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 run me out. Okay. Three I'm gonna put the camera already. down. I don't know if we'll catch this on camera or not. A lot of action though, man. It's cool. <laughs> yeah. Oops, you're standing on my rod, babe. No, it's my rod. Oh, oh, you're fishing on my rod. Yeah, you're fishing. Come on, man. Okay, oh, my ready. guy's coming. My guy's coming. I see two lines, line. one fish. Yeah, here he comes. Ready? Two fish. Here. Ready? One fish. Oh. Hey, one. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, that guy's on camera. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna dump him up here. All right. Where do you want them? Just up here, I'll deal with it. Okay, and then we'll need the next oh. delphi. Oh, it broke off. You broke? Ah! Oh. You broke the line? That's all right. That was a lot of excitement. Oh, you still got a line on there? Thank you. Woo, that's a fucking tank, man. 
I gotta find my Oh man, that thing was getting this. you on fire. <laughs> Stephanie's got a clam, but she had again. She had a big fish. That was a pretty sweet double header, and then yeah, we had a she nice lost hers. For a minute. And uh, was that clam in his belly? Ended up with a clam. All right, so do you want to prop this one up, and we'll rebait it, and then uh, we'll. You might as well check your rod that's been sitting there. Let's have a closer look at Steve's fish. That's a big one. Yeah, I can't, I'm having trouble breaking the barbels, man. Look at the belly on this thing. There he is. Yeah, I'm out of night shot mode now so you can see the colors. Big fish. I just, I just got one more here. Can okay. I get that out while he's upside wow. down? I might. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll never know. Okay, well, you know how we deal with these guys, so we're going to work on that. I'm going to rebate my line. And uh, Bob's your uncle. There's our bucket of fish. I just gutted them all. We're wrapping up. Everything slowed down, so we left the lines in. We missed a bite or two while I was uh, gutting those guys up. And now we're tidying up our stuff and we're going to head her home. It's late. We're tired. And uh, we are continuing the adventure tomorrow. It's the next day. It's actually the afternoon. We had a well-deserved sleep in. So we're a little bit late hitting this trout hole. This is where I caught my five a couple weeks ago. A little spring-fed pond. And... Steve's casting out there. Saw some jumping in the middle the last time I was here. And Delphine's just going to put on a hook and a worm and a split shot. Like a medium sized one of those guys. Perfect. There's a little trickle of water coming in over here. So last night we uh, put those fish in the fridge. We figured we got about eight eight pounds or more which was pretty good in addition to the 45 we caught the night before 45 pounds and it was just this nice little trickle of water and it comes out over here you can see that little line of sand and when I fished this spot before they were just off the end of that and I'll show you something cool here too I don't know if it'll show on the camera but see that dark hole there um, right there I think that's just spring water welling up out of the ground so it's very cold here it's quite shallow but it seems to be good good trout habitat so there's one there my first one just took the debts and the gills out right off the hop and what I'm using is one of these little red egg hooks and a little split shot, just about five or six inches up. And Delphine, kind of keeping an eye on her. She's quiet when she catches fish, but I think she's got three of them over there already. And over here, Steve's trying some different techniques. I don't know if he's got one in yet. And I just caught this one by this log, so I'm going to try and cast another one there and see if, I, see if there's more than one. got that worm in. Oh, he missed it. Missed again. Oh, there's a fight. There's like three of them here. Three or four. Woo! Oh. I'm wrapped up. There he is.
a nice little back pond brook trout and uh, there was a fight for that worm so like three or four of them came out to fight they're all about the same size so I might be able to catch my limit on this log I'll give it a try well we're out of time so I've got these four and then I tried to catch a bigger one on some lures and I caught a few and missed a few and Steve and Delphine Steve's got one on right now actually this is good timing there he is Oops. Bingo! And I think Delphine's just been quietly catching a bunch of them. So we're going to catch up and then we got to head out of here and do some cooking. So there's some nice sundews. These are an insectivorous plant. There's lots of them here. I think it's pretty low nutrient here. So when you look at the water, there's not a lot of growth in it, right? Let's have a look at Delphine's cooler. Oh yeah, that one's nice and big. There's four in there, so we have four apiece. Steve just caught three, three out of that tree. He's set up at a tree here. He only just got here and he's been hauling them out. He got stripped again. Number five. Oh, number five. Oh, I couldn't see it. Let's zoom. Just a little one. Yep. So Yum. Sure, we gotta head out anyway, so do some cooking. Yeah, man. Steve's uh. I'm too off my limit. Just give me ten minutes. Five yeah, yeah. Minutes. Okay. Five minutes, maybe. We'll pack up and then we'll hustle you out of here. Yeah. You only just got to the good spot, right? Yeah. And you already Finally pulled. Finally got a spot that's working. You already pulled out three. They're right in there. If you want to look, I got a little cooler going. There's some good yeah, ones in we'll there. Yeah, we'll have a look. One almost ten, maybe so, nine. So Steve's also got a little guiding thing going on this summer in the Halliburton area. Oh yeah, yeah, I should mention that. Yeah. Yeah, if anybody wants to get out on the water, boat, motor, sonar, all the fixings, uh, it's uh, yoursoutdoors.ca. Yeah. Uh, guided fishing in Halliburton Highlands with this mm -hmm. guy. Look him up there, nice. And what species? Um, mostly bass, pike. Um, summer lakers are possible. It's a lot slower fishing, but uh, yeah. you know, you can get them. You just gotta be patient. And walleye. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So you got them in the refrigerator here, eh? Yeah, I got a little cooler going, a little live well. No, oh, these are nice ones. Yeah, they're chunky monkeys, huh? Yeah, for a little spot like this. Yeah. Okay. From what I was seeing on the other side, Beauty. these are good ones, eh? Yeah. Yeah. And we didn't even get down, like there's a beaver dam at the end of this and it might be a little bit deeper water and other fish, so <laughs> we'll have to try here again. Cook time. There's a little salad. Johnny Jump Ups, Daisies, Lamb's Quarters, Pigweed Amaranth, uh, Oxalis, Rose Petals, maybe a couple of other greens. Catfish fillets with some roasted alder catkins and some primrose just sprinkled on there. And I'm rehydrating some of the sunchokes and I'm going to fry them up. The bear fat's hot so I'm just going to get on this. And then we're going to cook and I'll show you how it plates up. <laughs> hot enough for you? Oh, it's hot. Let's try to crisp up the skin on here. We're doing a skin on catfish fillet experiment for the ages. All right? Yeah. Now we're in. Okay, we're good. That's not black and catfish, I don't know what is, man. No fish, well, it's too smoky in here right now. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to tell what's really <laughs> happening, <laughs> but yeah, I have yeah. a good feeling about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's gonna taste good. There it is. Blackened channel cats. Deep fried sunchokes, yard salad, some vetch garnish, one, two, three dishes. Mmm. So I don't know if I got that on film earlier, but you caught your limit of trout today. Yes. That was super exciting. Yeah. I lost like four. 
Yeah. Three. And I caught the fourth one. Yeah, I got the hang of it. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, it went well. Didn't uh, catch Steve on his last trope, but he caught his fifth one. And I had four. And then I switched to, I started casting lures and I uh, caught and missed a few. I hooked and missed a few. So I just took home four with just still four trout. We're pretty awesome. So it's going well. Yeah. I love catfish. Oh, right, little, mm. little Johnny jump up got in there. Mm. Yeah. So tasty. All right. We're going to eat. You don't get to watch us eat. Catfish is good. We're just going to watch each other eat. And Stay tuned. I think we might do some more stuff over the next day. Hmm. I'm back. So we had our supper now. We are on beautiful Lake Nipissing near North Bay, Ontario. And we're out on a little rock spit here. Got my kids swimming at the beach. You can just see them from here. And we're going to try and catch some bass, some pike, some walleye, some sheep's head, AKA the freshwater drum and anything else that's biting. Got on here this little Rapala and first cast smallmouth bass. There, I caught a white bass also. I went back to talk to the girls. So there's a white bass and two smallmouth. And Dauphine's got a smallmouth bass too. Oh, and a big grin. <laughs> nice. Leopard frog? Biggest one I've ever seen. Oh, yeah? Look at it. Holy, it's huge. <laughs> right there. That's the biggest leopard frog I've ever seen. Yeah, is he ever big? I'll try and get close with the camera. Do you want me to put some blocks of light on him or you got light? Um, let me try. Oh, he's on the run here. Uh, see him there in night shot mode. He is big. Yeah. They're usually like literally like a third. Yeah. So you caught a Lake Nipissing walleye? I got one little, it was about 14 or 15 inches, uh, inches yeah. under the slide. So. Yeah, you worked hard for him, eh? I did, yeah, I was tossing and all kind of things. I soaked a minnow and I was throwing some stick baits and finally you hit a little, little swimmer, a little diver. Yeah. yeah, that was all right. We got six bass that we're taking home and... Yeah, That's I almost hooked a duck. That was pretty funny. You oh. see those mallards that went by? Oh, when It was, was just by before. coincidence. It was right when I was bombing a big long cast and it was yep. like, I missed it by about a foot. Wow. <laughs> that that would have been awesome. That would have been a good fish story. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Okay. I'd, like, I'd like to catch a okay, duck. Uh, they're starting to bite. Bugs are starting to bite. So Delphine went back ahead of us and she's making a cake, I think. So we're going to go back for cake. Look at that sunset behind me. Nice Lake Nipissing sunset. We're going to head home. Oh, Linnea's. Oh, a heron. A heron? We'll Look get a picture of the heron. Oh. Pretty brave one. It's just right here with a bunch of stinking kids nearby. Mm. Good island, eh? It's so tall. I'm just walking. Yeah, and I, it's a beautiful one. And I right? saw a shadow there, and I'm like, yeah. And I thought it was a log or something. He like. might come and eat the fish guts after. Definitely. All right, so that's a night. We have more adventures tomorrow, so we'll be checking back in. It's nice. Well, next morning, Steve had to split this morning. He's got some. Uh, guiding commitments and garden work and a whole bunch of other things stacked up so he's on his way home and Delphine and I are out we're gonna do a little check on a strawberry patch that we picked last year and see where it's at this year and then we're gonna cook up some speckled trout so that's coming up we have leftover venison too yeah um, so we're still catching, we're still cooking, we're picking, we're processing. Um, looks like the hazelnuts might have a good year this year. That's something we're really watching out for. Some little hazelnut starts here. So we keep our eyes peeled for lots of things. I love old gravel pits. They're great for tracking. And they like to pick up old brass shells. And they often, because they get a lot of heat and sun, have good things growing in them like pin cherries and strawberries and raspberries. Some old shotgun shells down there. Stuff that people have been shooting at. Horsetail. There's some kind of a 
dog or a wolf track coming through here. See lots of some of those clay pigeons might not be broken. There's a there's all these raf, rifle brass and gravel pits, and here's a couple of uh, clay pigeons that aren't too busted up. They're actually not at all busted up. This looks like a full one here. So what are the things we need to do this summer? Oh, there's tons of them here. It's like a whole box worth. Um, Delphine's got her new Stevens 555 shotgun and uh, we need to do some target shooting. That one will probably break when I throw it. Yeah, but these ones are all good. So we definitely want to do some waterfowling this fall and uh, we'll need to do some practice. So that'll be fun. We'll pick up some cheap shells and borrow a thrower and uh, bust up some clays. I think I might end up picking up about 50 today. There's a bunch of them around. So anyway, I'm going to do some picking and then I'll tune back in in a minute. Well, there's 47. 47 clays and a little bit of brass. And I'll go over and see what Delphine's finding. There's lots of uh, yellow hawkweed here. The whole pit's full of it. There's quite a bit of red clover in here that's at basically at full flower, so maybe we'll pick a little pot of those as well. What's the uh, what's the strawberry situation? Not bad. I see you've got a few of them over there. There are some some good ones here. Not to put in a case for tonight. Ooh. Yeah. These are our first berries of the year other than a little bit of partridge berry and a little bit of wintergreen that have basically just been trailside snacks. Well, and we had some service, uh, yeah, on our. Oh yeah, that's right. On our trip back from some Juneberry. We had them in the states, or did we have them on Ontario no, side? They were in Ontario. Oh, then they're Saskatoons or sugar plums. Oh yeah, there's quite a few here. Cool. Now I'm gonna grab a pot and uh, join Delphine in this little spot here. There's our haul. Three pots of strawberries. So some for cake and enough to freeze as well. It's good stuff. So we're kind of done here now. We picked the patch. Well, a few little patches. And we're gonna pack up and switch gears. Oh, hello. Hello, snake. Uh, little garter snake. They're our most common species here. So switching gears, we're gonna hit up a nettle patch, eh? Okay. Oh, you got some, uh, what's it called again? Salsify. Salsify here. roots. Here. Yeah, Go we can here. use the blossoms and we'll try these. Yeah, nice. Good eye. Well, there's just enough of it that I could pick a few. Yep. Uh, so I'll pack up my stuff and then we'll head out. We're probably going to cook up some trout before we go nettle picking or we'll do that after. Okay. Mmm. Leaf cloves. Smell the rice. 
There's a cake in the oven. We're gonna throw those speckled trout in here. Look for strawberries on it. Yeah. For a strawberry haul. That's awesome. There they are, right to the pan. So we've basically had how's my lighting here? Four days of fishing. We've caught over 50 pounds of fish uh, with the help of um, Steve Lukacic and uh, shared them out. So, I mean, we didn't obviously have all that fish to ourselves. He's got some to take home. He's going to smoke some of those trout, smoke some of those catfish and so on. Um, but it's been a very productive four days and wrapped it up with a little bit of um, fruit picking, first fruits of the season, which is exciting. And uh, I'll show you how they all cook up and then we're going to wrap this video up. And there's supper. So I forgot we also have some uh, venison round roast. There's the wild leeks, the trout, the rice. And we're going to eat. And that's kind of the end of uh, four days of picking, gathering, and so on. And we are going to eat while we watch episode four of Alone. Mm. Yeah. We're going to eat some wild food while they're eating some wild food. <laughs>